know the God that we have never known. You, Holy Spirit. I pray that you may continue to work your work in the lives of your people today. Lord, we acknowledge we fail in so many ways. Lord, we acknowledge that we are not complete, we are not mature, that there are still things in our lives that need to be pruned. Holy Spirit, right now, we open up our lives and take away and cut away, Lord, the weeds, the bad shoes, the bad vines in my life. Give me the courage, Lord, to surrender the habits, the behaviors, even the associations that I enjoy but does not fall into your will. I pray, Holy Spirit, remind us with your word. Let your word be our light in our feet and be lamp to our facts. Let your word, Lord, set us free in Jesus' name. And we pray, Lord, as we take this journey in knowing you, I pray that all of us would bear the proof of the Spirit where there is love, there is joy, there is faithfulness, kindness, meekness, gentleness. First of all, in Jesus' name. You know, before we would leave today, shoots that needs to be cut off in our lives and allow the root of the Word of God and allow the root of the Spirit in our lives to be there. We're just gonna take some moment to allow the Holy Spirit to just minister to us this morning. He is moving and he is working. The Lord's desire is for us to bear so much fruit. The reason why you've been saved, the reason why you are here, the reason why God redeemed you and take you in in his family so that we may bear fruits that will last. And we are not yet complete. We are still in progress. And as we move on and work and, and live in this life, He is continuously working in our lives. And right now, I don't believe the Holy Spirit is just saying to you and showing you what are the things that needs to be cut off in our lives so that the roots of the Spirit will continue to grow and flourish. But love, joy, gentleness, goodness, meekness, faithfulness, kindness, and self-control will become evident in our lives. Holy Spirit, right now, we bear, we bear our lives to you. You can see your God, our inward hearts. And today, as we come into your presence, search me, mold me, cleanse me, purify me, and take away anything in my life, Lord, that would hinder me from growing and following and even bearing the proof of the Spirit. Change the root in my life and cut off the bad sheets that is preventing me from bearing fruits. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And as we continue to worship the Lord in our last song, just allow the Holy Spirit to continue to minister. I do believe he will speak to you today that none of us will live in this norm, in this building without receiving a word from the Holy Spirit be done. Some of us perhaps we have to change some associations. Some 
you may have to reconcile. Some we have, have to take away some bad habits that we've been doing in the past and still continuing until now. Whatever it may be, allow the Holy Spirit and surrender everything to Him. In Jesus' name. Let us just worship this morning. Just allow, allow Him. Allow His presence. And just fill this place.